Hello everyone, um, I wanted to share a new project that I'm working on for the 3D printer, for the pellet extruder. So here I'm mocking up the pellet extruder. Um, so this is the, the drill bit, the pressure drill bit, if you see, um, has more space here and the space between inside the drill bit diminish more than you go to the tip which means increases the pressure to the um, melted uh, material that you're printing whatever it is and here I have the the tube where the this drill bit goes in here you see and it's attached this will be attached to a motor mount and then the another mount here and there is a motor here attached um, so this so this is uh, is building and they're making it right now for me as a prototype um, so um, let me show you again this will be like this, mount like this, and inside here the will pallet will go in. This will turn, melt the pallet, which goes inside the tube, and then get out from the nozzle. So, how do I melt the pallet? Before I had a, a heater block, and so this one was much smaller. Um, I had a heater block, aluminum heater block, and the tube was going inside uh, this heater block, and there were resistors, like uh, heaters, like a normal 3D printer, uh, 40 watts or 50 watts. Uh, so uh, with that, I found out that um, pallet is melting on this zone, the last part, but not on the on the top one, um, and. Um, with a heater block is heating externally only the tube not internally so the drill bit since it doesn't touch the the tube of course it doesn't uh, is heating of course but not as much as the tube itself or a, 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 the aluminum block uh, keep in mind that this tube and everything else is will be stainless steel because I'm printing uh, carbon fiber so it needs to be uh, resistant to abrasion from the carbon fiber so how do I hit this right now so the idea is to have induction hitting so I'll have action let me put it this way so I have a coil uh, attached to some uh, electronics that I'm going to show you in a bit and this coil will hit anything that is inside the coil itself here inside so the tube and the drill bit that is inside so I will have much more uniform uh, heating and of course uh, a much more uniform temperature now the length of this coil uh, will be calculated have to be calculated but the good thing is that it will hit from where it starts and the temperature will be uniform across the, the entire coil pretty much so one issue will be how do I um, keep um, this side cold so that's an issue that I'm, I'm going to um, solve later on so right now I'm just focusing on how to make it this work how do I make it work so if you remember I posted a video about MOSFETs so basically I had uh, this one connected to the trip to the uh, board main board the um, GTR or the Pro B track uh, and I will have the power supply here 
12 volts, so 24 volts. And then this side is, was connected to the uh, resistance, the heater, which heats and then uh, melts the, the, the filament. In my case, which I, since I have pellet, I had first the heating block, the aluminum here, I had the resistance, and it was connected to here. So this MOSFET, and so the resistance is driven by the, the uh, board, by this signal cable. This helps to isolate the high power of this uh, heating resistor from the main board. So if something happens, this blows up, it's like two bucks, and your board is safe. Now, if I have a inductance heating, how do I control the inductance? So there is this little device, which is actually a heater, inductance uh, heater. So basically, this device allows you to create a magnetic field inside the coil. And if you study electromagnetics, if you put inside a coil a certain frequency uh, metal, it will uh, basically get heated. Um, so this guy, uh, I think it's around 120 watts, uh, which is plenty enough to uh, melt the pellet. Now the thing that I need to fix, uh, check is the number of coil, you know, this inductance needs to be uh, uh, calculated, you know, number of uh, coils, uh, the length and the radius and that kind of stuff. So because mine is much bigger than this one. So I just need to fix that, check that if it's okay. Uh, another thing that I notice here, there are some plugs. Do not use this with inductance, they will melt. So it needs to be attached here. So I will use uh, probably thick wires that goes from here to, to this device here. So this one will reside near the board. So I have more wires that goes to, to the uh, extruder, basically, in this heating. So basically it will be board. MOSFET inductance uh, controller, well, let's say call it this, and it will be connected to the uh, extruder, inductance on the extruder. That's the idea. So I just need to do to fix, to check if this small inductance and uh, that comes with this, this small, uh, this I and uh, this uh, copper uh, can be used. Uh, this big one instead of this small one um, should work. Um, so this 120 watts. This guy is 12 or 24 volts, 25 amp, amp. So plenty enough to drive this guy, um, and it should work because this board drives the MOSFET. The MOSFET drives this guy. So if I have I want to heat, this will drive current. To the inductance if I don't want to heat uh, this will shut off and this guy will shut off that's the idea main idea Basic. and I will have two system on this because mine is dual extruder the, the pallet extruder that I'm building that has two of these guys and uh, in theory should work fine do some math for this for the inductance coil and stuff and then, also after that, I have a new small project, which is uh, using uh, laser in this configuration. Uh, and I will talk about this in another video when I'm ready to explain this, hopefully. Uh, that's it. So this new, uh, new small project, I have to work on it. Um, I have time because this piece here, the tube, is being uh, developed and designed and developed by a company as a prototype, so hopefully everything work, uh, works great. And the other thing is I'm building the frame for the 3D printer right now. I have all the pieces scattered around here. 
Um, I have some things that I need to buy because the drill bit, uh, the final part here where it's attached to the, to the, here, uh, you can see where it's attached here. I need a new one of this guy's coupler because this guy I use the drill bit to make it fit and of course it's not straight. Uh, so I need to buy a new one with, which will fit the, the drill bit. Um, and that's it. So tomorrow or next day I'm building the frame and uh, from there uh, I will work on this guy and I will test if everything works. Okay, so please uh, subscribe to the channel, put a like, um, if you have any comments please uh, write it down the video and uh, share the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.